Do you currently have smart home products that you love, but they are not compatible with HomeKit? Well, today I'm gonna to show you a simple little device that will bring a lot of this over into your favorite platform, HomeKit, and it's called Hoobs. Let's check it out. Welcome back, friends. If this is your first time here, my name is Eric. If you're into smart homes, home automation, and especially HomeKit, you're definitely in the right place. Today's video is a part of my HomeKit series, and to starting today, I'm starting a new series with Hoobs, and I'm gonna be doing a lot more hoop videos or products that work with hoops and home kit so if you want to see a lot of these awesome products that you have from other companies that are not compatible with home kit but bring them into home kit definitely hit that subscribe button down below full disclosure hoops did send this out to me for a full honest review but that's not gonna sway my opinion in one way or another if I don't like something I'm definitely gonna let you know I'm gonna be leaving affiliate links down below we can get more information on this and if you guys if you guys want to see a full updated pros and cons list on my website, I'll leave a link down below. Now in a nutshell, Hoobs is simply a bridge between your favorite smart home device and home kit. Now it's not going to work with every single device out there. Some of the biggest names in smart home are compatible. There is SmartThings, Ring, Nest, Dyson, iRobot, Honeywell, Broadlink, Wink, Simply Safe, Logitech Harmony, and many, many more. There are actually over 2,500 plugins currently on Hoobs. You can actually check out these plugins for free. Go to plugins.hoobs.org and you can look up your favorite smart home products to see if it's in there. Now, you want to do a little bit more research because some of those plugins are not working. Um, if it happens to be certified, it's pretty much guaranteed to work. If it's not certified, you do want to do a little bit more research just to make sure it's actual working plugin. You can check out the reviews, look at the updates, make sure the developer is actually actively um, updating it on a regular basis. You can even take it even a little bit further. There's a um, home bridge in Hoob's Discord. There's a Slack. There's a subreddit. You can ask people just to see if that actual plugin is actually working for your favorite device. There's actually three different options to get Hoob's depending on what technical level that you're comfortable with and are willing to put in the time for. If you want to build up your own Raspberry Pi, you can actually download the software for free. Um, but if you're at that level, you might just go ahead and jump right into HomeBridge. Next option is if you already have your Raspberry Pi set up, um, you can actually get an SD card with hoops on there and go ahead and install it. I'm not quite sure what goes into that. To me, I'm just all about being easy. So I took the third option and got the hoops in a box. Now inside the package, it does come with everything you, that you will need to set this up, including the hoops in the box, power adapters, ethernet cable, micro USB cable, everything is there. And it's super, super easy. You do want to plug this into your router. You do have an option to do Wi-Fi if you want to, but I do highly recommend that you use a hardwire. It's just a little bit more stable. As I know what to say, that is a mess. You gotta clean that network up. And I'm actually in the process of getting everything I need for that. I'll be posting photos over on my Instagram account if you want to see the process of that. Now set this up, you just go into your browser, go to hoops.local. Once you go in there, make sure you change your username and password. And you'll see the first your user interface, which is pretty simple. Um, that's a nice thing about Hoobs. Anything that you do in Hoobs will automatically come over to HomeKit, which is awesome and super, super easy. Now we're not going to look at the advanced options here. That's just not what I'm all about. If you guys are more advanced, there's other videos for you and you're probably in the home bridge anyways. Here, I'm all about the easy setup, easy use. I don't want to go through the headaches of maintaining something. It's got to work. Now setting this up with HomeKit, you have your HomeKit code right there on the main page. Go ahead, go into your HomeKit app, um, hit the plus, add accessory, scan the QR code, and it will let you know that this is a non-certified device and it might not work correctly. I can tell you this thing has been working great for me for the past few months, no issues whatsoever, and there are many other users that love this device also. Just read the reviews. Um, if you're worried about privacy, you wanna make sure you have good password management, use different passwords for different devices, and also have a network segregation to keep your smart home products off of the same network that you're checking your bank statements. 
So the first thing you want to do is search for whatever products that you have. Now, of course, with each plugin, there will be a little bit of setup, a little bit of programming. Some are easier than others. Some are no programming at all. You just give them your username and password. Now, I gotta tell you, I've set up probably about five or six of them right now. Today, I'm gonna show you three of my favorite ones, um, and they were all maybe took me 15 minutes each, no problems whatsoever. I'll put it this way. If you can follow the instructions for a Lego set, you can definitely follow the instructions for a Hoobs plugin. A lot of people say that Hoobs is the exact same thing as Homebridge, but with a UI or user interface. I've personally never used Homebridge, but I've watched a lot of reviews on it. In my personal opinion, time is money, and if you guys spend all this time setting it up and going through the hassles of uh, you know all the little problems that you might have just setting it up is not worth it to me. I'd rather spend a little bit of money and get a system that works out of the box. With that being said, Hoobs in a Box is not cheap. It's actually $170 currently, but in my opinion, that is totally worth it just because it really brought my smart home together. It brought things that were not compatible with HomeKit in the HomeKit and really made my smart home complete. In the next couple weeks, I'm gonna be doing a couple of videos in my Hoobs series, bringing some amazing smart home products that are not available anywhere in the HomeKit ecosystem that you gotta have for a smart home. Um, it's been stuff that I've been looking for for a very long time, but never pulled the trigger simply because it did not work with HomeKit. Um, but now with Hoobs, it now works with HomeKit. So definitely, if you're brand new here, make sure you hit that subscribe button and if that video is available, check that out right there on my Hoops playlist. So the three that I actually set up is one is my Harmony Logitech remote, my Ring doorbell, and my two Honeywell Total Connect thermosets. Let me show you how easy it is. First thing you wanna do is find the plugin. Just go to search, type in the plugin that you want. Here I'm gonna do the ring first. You wanna go into the details and see what the requirements are, see how you do it. Each one's gonna have a description step by step on what to do. With the ring, they have you set up a refresh token, which is super easy to do. All you need to do is copy the code that's in the instruction and then go to your terminal, which is in the top right, and then you hit terminal. You paste that code that they just gave you, hit enter, you do, it's a little magic type of thing, then ask you for your username and password. If you have two-factor authentication, they ask you for that, and then it would generate this special code. You then go back to the plugin, go to your configuration, and put in that token right where it tells you to. Now there's a couple other settings that you can play with, but if you just want to set it up and test it out, all you need is that token. Hit save and then go to the home app and you should see your ring stuff there. It is simply that easy. Now I'm only able to test the ring doorbell even though other products are supported. I gotta tell you it's pretty good. It's not as good as being in the ring app. When you're talking to someone at the door sometimes you do get some feedback and some delay but it wasn't really that bad. If you have other devices or you want to play with the settings you can go back into the configuration, play around with it and set it up the way that you want to set it up. Now moving on to the Harmony Hub, you will have to have a reserve IP address for your Harmony Hub. So you will have to go in the router. Each router is a little bit different, but the general idea is the same. And then go back into the Hoobs configuration, type in that IP address, and a couple basic information like the name of your hub. Now you, there's a bunch of settings that you can play with. You can just leave them alone for right now and find out the ones that you want to change later. Let's just get into HomeKit. Now one thing I did notice when I first got this in the home kit the presets that you have in the Harmony Hub are the ones that are going to come over so I have five presets TV Apple TV DVD and I forget the other two but those are the ones that are going to come over so wherever you program into the Harmony Hub are also going to come over to home kit and you're going to get icons for each and every one now Ideally, that wasn't exactly what I wanted, and I thought it would just have an icon for the TV and then have it select, but I didn't find this until I actually searched for it. I actually had to go add accessory and say that I didn't have one, and then it found it, and it automatically did it. And now I have a single icon with those five options. Now, the way that you use this is not like the Harmony remote. You can turn on the TV, you can turn it off, 
very easily, but to get around to search for programming in the TVE and use you know use the remote like you should is a little bit more difficult you can go into the apple tv remote which you just slide up from the bottom hit the apple tv remote that you want for the mine's called the family room but it is very limited on what you can do with it when you came to volume though you can actually use your iphone's volume control on the side to control the volume of the tv but they also give you two tiles one for mute and one to control the volume inside the home app and now moving on to the easiest one of all is the Honeywell Toad Connect Comfort. I literally, all I had to do was put in my username and password and it brought over my two Honeywell thermostats. Now, of course, you set this up ahead of time in Honeywell, but once you did that, it brought it right in the home kit just like that. I gotta tell you, this is one of my favorite products to date. It is super easy and it's a must have for anyone that's in the home kit. It brings a lot of devices that I've had over the years in the home kit. Um, and I don't have to throw them away, I don't have to sell them. I can actually use them in my home kit home. Plus, it allows me to get some devices that are not available in home kit. And as I mentioned, I will be picking up these products and sharing them with you and um, telling you how I can use these products in my home kit home even though they are not officially home kit if you guys want to see those videos make sure you smash that subscribe button down below if you want to see the next video in my hoobs series check that out right there thanks for watching i will see you on the next video no, nothing can break me.